Now, the Ministry of Transport has issued an advisory to the Ghana Police Service and other security agencies asking them to apprehend any commercial driver found charging new transport fares from the existing rates. The Ghana Private Road Transport Union, GPRTU, and the Ghana Road Transport Coordinating Council, GRTCC, recently issued a joint advisory urging commuters to refrain from paying any new transport fares that have not been officially approved. This move follows in response by drivers to hike fares as a result of four prices and spare parts which shot up on a daily basis. According to the statement released by the Ministry's Public Relations Unit in Accra on Sunday, April 14, negotiations for new public transport fares are currently underway with road transport operators. The Ministry emphasized the importance of commercial drivers sticking to the existing public transport fares as directed by the GPRTU and the GRTCC. However, the Ministry is urging the Ghana Police Service and other security agencies to be on the lookout for any driver who goes contrary to this directive. Joining us by phone is the National Secretary of Concerned Drivers Association, Mohamed Aminu uh, Yusuf. Mohamed, thank you for your time. Good afternoon to you. Good afternoon to you and your viewers too. Well, there's been the uh, directive from the Ministry of Transport directing security officials to arrest any driver that goes against the uh, instruction of avoiding the increase of fares. Have you received that uh, notice already? Yeah, we've seen that um, phrase that the, um, the minister put out. But um, the issue is... If you can uh, speak up, please, Mohamed. The issue is it's long overdue for the transport minister to now come out and tell us this. Um, we've tried subsequent meetings with the minister and it, it, it didn't yield any resource. And to be frank with you, drivers are suffering. Now, as I'm speaking, um, I think since yesterday, we saw that there's going to be an increase in fuel prices again. What is the government, what is the minister doing about it? Um, his ministry, we will not like to talk about his ministry, but you should ask himself, what are drivers, what are uh, uh, um, commuters going through? We are going through a lot. It's not our wish to increase law fare. No. What we wish is the government should reduce the fuel prices for us drastically. That is what drivers are asking for. If you go to Abu Sokai, if you go to any other places that are selling spare parts, they, the prices are skyrocketing. And all these factors are in, that, are, that is why drivers are asking the government to do something about it. His ministry, we will not like to go um, to it. As I'm speaking to you now, how many drivers have been arrested for taking the prices? None. And if, if he could remember... Have some drivers gone against this directive? Have they already started charging new prices or fares? It because their work, their, 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 their work um, is really collapsing. And if you could see today, even COPEC came out and made a press that the uh, ministry or the government doesn't have that authority to uh, uh, um, dictate law affairs for drivers. I saw it today. COPEC is even saying that. Um, if, if the minister or uh, the government want us to remember what happened to drivers during the 2008 election or when drivers were arrested and released because of um, second round election, then we will remind them. This is not what the government uh, uh, promised drivers for. And drivers are really suffering. It's going to why, drivers... why are we at a, a gridlock with the, uh, with the Ministry of Transport? Because we've both... Uh, you know, stakeholders have come to an agreement, the government and uh, drivers, coalition of drivers or associations. Depending on the percentage of fuel increase, that would, um, you know, inform us as to what uh, transport fares to charge. Why are these two bodies not understanding uh, that agreement we earlier had? Um, what I would like to say is, when there's going to be an increase in fuel prices, they just do it. 
But why is it that when we drivers want to increase our welfare, then they have to put us through the uh, into the corner? They don't want us to increase our welfare. Meanwhile, it's the ministry and the drivers unions that had uh, 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 an agreement that when fuel prices are increased to this percentage, there should be an increase in fuel prices. Welfare. Uh, why is the government still stopping drivers? not to increase the after. Mohamed, uh, now to go to the ministry and the government. So you, you don't really care about that directive from the Ministry of Transport? We truly care about their uh, uh, um, release. But what we would like to tell them is they should make sure drivers are confident in doing their work. They shouldn't be collapsing drivers' work. All, all the time, uh, uh, um, drivers are being forced to go through the pain. Meanwhile, the government is there to uh, uh, um, absorb pain for we Ghanaians. We are we the Ghanaians, we the drivers, we the market women uh, um, are the ones who voted for them to to come to government. So why are we supposed to go through pain? Was they are there to dictate for us? We are really begging them. Our work is truly really collapsing. And transport, when it comes to transport, is the most employment sector in this country. So we are telling the government to do something about it. Right, National Secretary to Concerned Drivers Association of Ghana, Mohamed Aminu Yusuf, we're grateful for speaking to us here on Up News Beat. You're still watching Metro TV.